Chapter 18 Then Bildad the Shuhite replied, How long before you stop talking? Speak sense if you want us to answer. Do you think we are cattle? Do you think we have no intelligence? You may tear your hair out in anger, but will that cause the earth to be abandoned? Will it make rocks fall from a cliff? The truth remains that the light of the wicked will be snuffed out. The sparks of their fire will not glow. The light in their tent will grow dark. The lamp hanging above them will be quenched. The confident stride of the wicked will be shortened. Their own schemes will be their downfall. The wicked walk into a net. They fall into a pit that's been dug in the path. A trap grabs them by the heel. A noose tightens around them. A snare lies hidden in the ground. A rope lies coiled on their path. Terrors surround the wicked and trouble them at every step. Their vigor is depleted by hunger, and calamity waits for them to stumble. Disease eats their skin, death devours their limbs. They are torn from the security of their tent, and they are brought down to the king of terrors. The home of the wicked will disappear beneath a fiery barrage of burning sulfur. Their roots will dry up, and their branches will wither. All memory of their existence will perish from the earth. No one will remember them. They will be thrust from light into darkness, driven from the world. They will have neither children nor grandchildren, nor any survivor in their home country. People in the West are appalled at their fate. People in the East are horrified. They will say, This was the home of a wicked person, the place of one who rejected God.